plug talk. Yo, what is good everybody man? If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, modded accounts, go ahead and check out GTA5mods.com. I do have it linked in the description below and it's also commented and pinned at the top of my comment section. If you guys need fast, pre-made modded accounts, pre-made uh, money drops, you know what I'm saying? Anything you guys need, modern services, please go ahead and click the link man only for pc only all right so if you guys are looking for the modded accounts say you bought gta 5 and you just wanted to you know what i'm saying start over on pc well you have money rp ranks all the unlocks max abilities and max skills so go ahead and copy your first pc modded account check out the link in the description What's good everybody man, it's your boy Shady Rich coming back at you guys live with another GTA 5 video. And in today's video we do have a solo glitch, it's a duplication glitch and I do want to give a shout out to the founder, I believe his name is NHJYYS, I'm going to go ahead and link him in the description below so you guys go ahead and check him out. But the first step you guys are going to do is when you enter the facility, you spawn in the facility, you want to go to quick job and you're going to start up a doomsday heist. Once you start up the Doomsday Mission or Heist, you're going to go into Jobs and you're going to go to Play Jobs, Rockstar Creative, then you're going to go to Missions, and after that you're going to go to a Titan of a Job, alright? Once you load into a Titan of a Job, the next step is for you to just simply leave. You guys already know the deal. Whenever we load into a Titan of a Job, we're always going to leave, alright? So, after that, we just left, alright? We're going to pull up the phone again and we're going to try and start the Doomsday Heist one more time. Now, for some people, the alert that you're going to need to wait for is not going to come right away. So it's going to take some time, all right? So the alert you're waiting for is for your phone to say, or for the alert by the loading screen, or the little, little loading thing in the corner, you want it to say two out of four or three out of four, or whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about, as if you're loading to the doomsday heights waiting for people. But once you see that, you're going to pull up your phone, you're going to click play quick job, doomsday heist as soon as you click doomsday heist just click b you don't have to click alone or anything like that if you want to check to see if it's working you want to go into your interaction menu to look and see if you can change your style if you can't change your style you hit the glitch perfect on time and you're all good I do want to apologize everybody i am still kind of sick i'm just trying to get this video out for you guys so the next step you want to do is go ahead and go to the desk and ask the people for your buzzer once you get your buzzer, you just simply want to fly over to the Arcadia CEO garage or CEO building. That is the only CEO garage slash building that we know that is working right now. So don't go try it. I mean, you can try it at any other CEO building, but I don't know if it's confirmed to be working at other CEO buildings. But you need to have a CEO building with at least two garage storages, okay? But you need to be working on the second garage. Then you need to have a custom shop. So like a... Uh, ls custom shop in your ceo garage all right so or your ceo building but like i said guys for most people a lot of people were they would take the buzzard and wait for a lester text to go back to the facility for me for some reason i did the glitch without doing that and it was like still working just fine so in this video you guys can just do it how i did it it's worked for me the same way i'm doing it on xbox nothing really different i don't think that step uh, mattered too much but i mean if you guys uh, are kind of afraid you guys can do that step just to make sure that you guys hit it on time all right and hit right before it gets patched but like i was saying man the next step basically you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go to your second garage all right now your second garage you're gonna have an oppressor or a deluxo and i'm gonna explain why you need an oppressor or a deluxo in the front then you need the car that you're duplicating next to it. And after that, you just need a whole bunch of LG RH8s, okay? LG RH8s needs to be, you know what I'm saying? You can get those from the uh, Legendary Motorsport. Get it for free. You guys can fill up your whole garage. Your garage has to be filled. The second garage has to be filled, okay? Another thing, um, 
did want to let you guys know you guys do need to have custom plates on your LG retro custom okay now um, I made a mistake and I did not put custom plates because I chose the wrong LG because I have so many and I just can't keep up but I ended up fixing it if you guys do this glitch without a custom plate because you guys use the dirty dupe all you need to do is get a clean get the clean dupe and go ahead and do the glitch just put the clean dupe over one of your dirty dupes and then just start using that clean dupe to just keep on doing a glitch over but next you guys need to go ahead and take your oppressor park it outside once you park it outside you should see that you don't have any tracker on it if you see that you don't have any tracker on it, you need to go back into your second garage all right now this is the part where you're gonna just go ahead and take it into the uh, CEO garage all right now this not I mean CEO custom auto shop now this glitch is not really hard honestly the only hard part is waiting to get that alert takes a little bit of time if your game is tripping like mine was sometimes you just load straight into a, a doomsday heist job or sometimes it'll just give you the thing right away and you'll miss it so you guys just got to take that step real easy but like i said it's pretty easy to do pretty easy to complete now this last and final step all you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go into the auto shop and you're gonna change the custom plate now remember i told you guys i messed up and i used the dirty dupe don't worry about that you can still do the same method with the dirty dupe you're just not gonna be able to sell it but don't do dirty dupes okay i'm just doing this part to show you guys so basically what you want to do is you want to change the plate um once you change the plate you want to exit the vehicle once you exit the vehicle you're going to get back in you're going to hit right on the d-pad you should see your screen kind of glitch out and basically what it's going to do is going to kick you out of the auto shop all right now once it kicks you out what you're going to notice is your cars are going to stack and your duplicate is going to be right there in front of you now to actually store the duplicate what you need to do is you need to go into the office okay so you're going to go into your office first okay office first you guys don't go to the ground because then the glitch is all messed up the good thing i like about this glitch though is if you mess up a few times you can kind of redo it because it's not going to reset you or kick you out of being glitched out you're still going to be able to do it but you just don't want to waste any time okay so like i was making mistakes by doing like stupid silly stuff like going to the blue circle or i drove out instead of going into my custom shop it was just a lot i was doing that was stupid but i ended up still figuring it out because i just you know what i'm saying you guys already know man i'm do god i can i can figure out any duplication glitch no matter what it is man i don't care how many steps it is i can figure it out but as you guys can see i load it into my office after that you're gonna just go straight to ground okay so office ground so i'm gonna tell you the steps oppressor out once you put the oppressor out walk to second garage once you go to second garage drive it to the custom shop once you go in the custom shop put a plate on it once you put the plate on it you're gonna go ahead and hop out you're gonna exit the vehicle then you're gonna get in the vehicle you're gonna click right d-pad you're gonna glitch out then you're gonna go into your office then after you go into your office you're gonna go to ground when you come out you should see your duplicated copy sitting right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this dupe copy and you're gonna drive it back to your garage once you drive it back to your garage you guys are gonna clearly see that we have duplicated a car man and that's pretty straightforward man this is exactly how that glitch goes like i said man you guys are not gonna have any issues with it because i definitely didn't i had a few issues but i still managed to you know what i'm saying get myself together and actually figure out how to fix the glitch so like i was telling you guys if you guys have dirty dupes listen to me man if you got dirty dupes what you need to do with these dirty dupes is you need to get the clean dupe and you need to just replace it man once you go ahead and you replace it everything is going to be good everything is going to be straight you're not going to have nothing to worry about now you guys are probably wondering like shady what are you talking about replace it i'm basically saying guys that you know how you're putting the oppressor out what you all you need to do is just request a clean copy drive it back in and replace it over the dirty dupe once you replace it over the dirty dupe, use that clean copy to create more duplicated uh, cars. You know what I'm saying? And what you guys want to do is you guys want to keep on changing those cars. I mean, keep on changing those plates. Don't make them the same. To rinse and repeat, it's the same thing. You just pull your oppressor outside of the CEO garage. Once you pull it out of the CEO garage, all you're going to do is go back in there and just keep on doing a glitch get into that car like i said it's quick easy steps get into that car get into that custom shop change the plate once you change the plate all you need to do is exit the vehicle once you exit the vehicle get back in click right on the d-pad 
after you click right on the d-pad what it's gonna do is it's gonna take you back into your garage okay and oh <laughs> i'm sure the guys i'm not talking about well is it gonna take you back into your garage i don't even remember it. i'm sorry guys like i said man it's 4 a.m right now i'm still under the weather and i'm trying to get through this sickness for you guys man it's been just so long and i'm just i'm just starting to really have to get videos out because it's coming to the end of the month and i have a certain amount of videos i want to put out by the end of the month all right but like i said exit the vehicle get back into the vehicle you're gonna click right on the d-pad once you click right on the d-pad your car will stack okay that's the last step right there i figured that i knew i wasn't tripping after that you feel me your car is gonna stack when your car stacks that's your dude copy you're basically gonna hop out of the original and you're gonna go back down all right into your office once you are in your office you're gonna go ahead and you're going to exit to ground all right when you exit to ground the dupe copy will be outside waiting for you okay now super easy super legit 100 percent man like i said you guys are going to be making millions messing with me man so keep on subscribing keep on continuing hopefully you guys saw the modded account giveaway in the beginning i'm starting to do a little something a little different if you guys want to enter the giveaway you just got to read the screens all right if it's going too fast just pause it but i just want to give a huge shout out to njyys for the glitch man you know this is a really good glitch you know what i'm saying and this is the people going to appreciate this man because a lot of people don't like doing glitches without garages you know what i'm saying they like doing the garage glitches i noticed that it's easier for people because more people have garages you know what i'm saying so i really appreciate you dropping this glitch you know finding this glitch and really putting the time in to find it uh like i said man people don't people don't want to use the avengers people don't want to use mocs they don't want to use none of that stuff they want to do the most simple glitch in the world okay and that's all they're gonna do but i'm glad man because this is actually a solo glitch and these don't come too often so you guys do take advantage and it's a rinse and repeat solo glitch like rinse and repeat solo glitches are so hard to come by because like they get <laughs> once they get patched that's it the previous glitches we had with the facility none of those are rinse and repeat well they were but you would need a friend to keep on rinse and repeat and we all know how that goes when you get a friend it's just not going to last long because they going to want to get dupe copies and y'all going to get into a fight talking about it's my turn, it's my turn. Y'all don't want to be dealing with that. But like I said, man, if you guys do this glitch over and over and over, your CEO garage will look like this. And if you count all the vehicles, that's 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 5 million, 6 million, every single level you fill up. Three levels, six times three is, you know what I'm saying, 18. But it's your boy Shaded Rich, man, and I'm signing out. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.